New Kids in the Neighborhood by Sam Weber. Derek and Molly were in the car going to their new house. They had learned the basics of the English language from their mother who had been there before. They were tired and bored after the plane ride from Ethiopia, also the drive to the new house. Are we there yet? asked Molly. Soon, said her father. Then about five minutes later, they were there. They parked in the driveway and their dad went and returned the, the car they had rented to get from the airport to the new house. Their mom told them to go meet the kids that were walking down the sidewalk away from the car. They got near them and did not know what to say. The only thing they could hear was the moving grand back into the driveway and the pure silence between them. Everyone felt weird having never talked to each other. The sweat on the back of Derek's neck felt like the, from the car ride felt like the ocean washing over him. Jack, Margaret, and Bill could see Derek and Molly fidgeting. To Jack, Jack's baseball uniform looked like a pure white suit, making him look older than he really was. Derek and Molly's mom was thinking that blacks had equal rights in the USA. After a couple of minutes, Jack shouted out, Look at the little wimpy black kids! Yeah, said Bill. I bet your mom knows that if she makes you do the chores, you're going to get the thing you're doing dirtier than clean with your black skin. Why are they being so mean to us? asked Molly with puzzlement on her face. I don't know, said Derek. For Derek and Molly, it felt greatly awkward to be treated this way. Everyone heard Derek and Molly's mom telling them to come see the new house. If I go in, I'm going to get in trouble with my parents, but these seem like nice people, thought Jack. They decided to go in after a couple seconds of thinking. After they went in, Derek and Molly's mom offered them cookies. Jack, Margaret, and Bill all thought they were nice people, but that did not really change their perspective about other blacks. How are you getting along with Derek and Molly? asked Derek and Molly's mom. I bet you're getting along great. You expect us to get along with blacks? You're crazy, said Jack. Come on, get along, said Derek and Molly's mom. Our parents are going to get really annoyed with us if we play or interact with blacks, but I'll show Derek how to play baseball. I will show Molly how to read better than she probably could have learned in Africa or wherever you're from, said Margaret, without trying to be mean. A couple days later, they heard that the president had signed the Bill of Rights, so blacks now had equal rights. Everyone was astonished. After that, they found out that they had many things in common. In the end, they all got along with each other. Derek was great at baseball and one of the best pitchers the league had. Jack, Margaret, and Bill apologized for teasing Derek and Molly. They said that they should just forget that blacks had ever been segregated, and they did. The End Picture by Norman Rockwell Written by Sam Weber Read by Sam Weber